Welcome back. Although the warmer weather has come, we can't count out COVID completely. There is a lot of misinformation and misunderstood information, even as vaccines have become more readily available. Our next guest, Gerald Kamisiong, serves as Chief Executive Officer and a member of the Board of Directors of Todos Medical. He has over 10 years of experience in therapeutic and diagnostic development, including all aspects of product licensing, research, collaboration, and go-to-market strategies. He is here to discuss fighting COVID and why testing and therapeutics are just as important as vaccines. Welcome. So vaccines, totally readily available, yet we see spikes. People are getting the vaccines and we're still seeing people becoming infected. Well, why do you see that? What's, what's the reason? Well, uh, the reason is that the vaccines are targeted at a disease that really doesn't exist anymore. The ancestral strain of the uh, SARS-CoV-2 virus, the spike protein, has mutated substantially since uh, the vaccines were first created. And so uh, as a result of that, you know, that kind of hand in glove is not quite as good. The glove doesn't fit. And so the virus is able to get around the vaccines um, most of the time. The, the good thing is that the vaccines have created substantial cellular immunity. And so you'll get sick, but then your more in-depth immune system will respond and usually, in most people, stop the virus from progressing. Unfortunately, it's in the people that have the worst immune systems that are most at risk that the vaccines are the least effective. And so that's why you really need to start thinking about other options. Right, and that's why I totally advocate that everyone should get vaccinated, but we have to learn and search for other things that we can do. What are other things that we could do aside from just getting vaccinated? Well, obviously there's all the different mitigation measures that people do, uh, but certainly we think uh, supporting your immune system and really maximizing the ability for your cells to respond is really critically important. And then the other thing, obviously, is we need to develop therapeutics so that if you get sick, you take pills, you get better. I think once that happens, then I think things can probably get back to normal. Has Todos Medical uh, changed at all over the course of the pandemic, from the beginning of the pandemic? Are you focusing on things that are more related to COVID now? Uh, yeah, we definitely have. So we were really just a focused as a blood testing uh, for cancer company, developing new tests, not really in a commercial way. And since then, we've transitioned the business. We have our own PCR testing lab. We help other PCR testing labs acquire all their uh, materials and supplies to be able to do large volume. And we've gotten involved on the therapeutic side, both uh, with the dietary supplement uh, for immune support uh, that we have here and with a more concentrated drug version that we just finished phase two clinical trials for in Israel. I would love to hear about both. Let's start with the, the supplement. This is what you're referring to. Uh, what, what is this doing for us? Um, what is the supplement? Is it just a vitamin? Uh, how, how is it really helping us? Right, so the supplement uh, is actually traditional Chinese medicine, and we have a, uh, a supplement version that we brought here to the US and qualified. The unique thing about the way this works is it, it has a dual mechanism. So one, which was pretty well known and studied, is that uh, it actually helps stop cytokine storm. And the cytokine storm is something that happens when uh, your body starts to attack itself, a hyperimmune response, okay? Um, then there's uh, a something else within the uh, formulation that is what we call a 3CL protease inhibitor, okay? So the, those are the two claims we have from the FDA for the product. We don't have diagnosis, prevention, treatment, or cure of right. COVID. We do have immune support, and 3CL protease inhibition. Now, 3CL protease, the best way, and I think the way most people would today understand what the 3CL protease is actually looking at a drug that Pfizer just brought to market under emergency use called Paxlovid, that its only function is to inhibit the 3CL protease. And what you saw in, with that drug is you saw very strong activity and an 89% reduction in hospitalization and death. That's great, that's not this product. But this product does have the same mechanism. And so our idea is that, you know, if you have something that you can buy today, you can put it in your medicine cabinet today to support your immune system, both in terms of, you know, the hyperimmune response, as well as stopping the 3-cell protease if it happens to be in your system or if you happen to encounter it, you have it in your system so, you know, things don't get out of hand. That's where we see the value of having a product like this 
in your medicine cabinet. That's remarkable. So no calls to the doctor waiting for a prescription to be filled. Readily available on places like what? Where could I find? So you can buy this on uh, mytolovid.com and you can buy it on Amazon. Uh, you can also buy it here in the, uh, in the New York area at the Alchemist Kitchen, which is a really good health food store. Um, and yeah, I mean, look, the, the idea is hopefully, yeah. you know, you never get to a position where you, you know, you have need to, to need to get to that state. But, right. you know, as well, a supplement, is, that's what it's This is a supplement for. I will have in my medicine cabinet after today's interview, for sure. Uh, while we're on the topic of the uh, two different uh, uh, directions that you had there, one was a supplement and one was a therapeutic, what are you guys working on as far as any type of antiviral or, or therapeutic on the drug front? Right. So the raw, the, the raw materials uh, on the drug front are very similar, if not identical, sure. to, the, to what we have in the supplement, but diff slightly different formulation. So there, we're really targeting the later stage patients. You know, companies like Pfizer and Merck, you know, they can produce hundreds of millions of pills to hopefully, you know, get the hospitalization rates down over time. Um, we, because we have this dual mechanism um, that they don't have, they don't work in the hospital setting. In fact, Pfizer just failed in the hospital setting with their drug. And right now, the biggest drug is really remdesivir, which most people are not very excited about because it has limited efficacy in the hospital. So we just finished a clinical trial, a uh, phase two, where we showed when you're on the drug, we eliminated death. We eliminated, uh, we reduced uh, days in the hospital by seven. So instead of average of 17, an average of 10 days. And we got people back to what they call a clinical improvement three days faster. And the key there is, you know, you're getting worse and you either fall off a cliff or you get better. And every single patient on the drug got better. So what we're trying to do is really take dying off the table and get people out of the hospital faster because we know you know, spikes come up and they come down. And as we saw with Omicron, even when they say it's mild, we've had record deaths, right, and record hospitalizations. And so, you know, if you can get people out of the hospital faster and stop them from dying, you can kind of keep the healthcare system functioning. And I think, you know, a lot of effort was done on the vaccines prevention. And obviously, a lot of effort was put into uh, these uh, early stage pills within the first five days. Mm -hmm. uh, and those are all very important things. But kind of the people who are in the hospital and dying where the people have these compromised immune systems, there's not much for them. And so this is a need that I think we can fill. Gerald, thank you so much for coming in and thank you for putting your company's efforts into helping everyone around the world. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. I know uh, the inventor of the pills, Dr. Dorita Rod, would be thrilled to see this. So thank you so much. We'll be right back. <laughs>